following with the new uh, Bybay templates, I would like to show you some of the changes that we have on the uh, mannequin. Uh, sorry, on the metahuman. Uh, well, also on the mannequin. I will do another video for that one. But on the metahuman and on the uh, game uh, Bybay. So basically, are almost the same, but with some differences. So the most clear difference is the the naming. So in one, it's the the one that respects the um, uh, metahuman naming structure, especially for the um, for the um, uh, joints. And the other thing is on the if we check the guide. We have this extra blade here because it's not on the same plane that the the rest of the forearm or arm. Uh, join so we, we need this extra uh, uh, blade to control that so with the um, the game um, template we have this deactivated so this is a new option that we can have uh, deactivated here so use wrist blade so if we de deactivate it will solve slightly different the, the way the the orientation of the joints work so that's that's uh, mostly that by the way the blades have a new look and feel now are blue, so it's easier to visualize there. And also they have this uh, blade scale. So if you don't see it correctly, sometimes you can scale it. And it's it's just relative to the visualization. So it's not a store or mirror when you when you do mirror. It's just for, for this visualization there. And also it's a bit more cleaner, the, um, the channels here. So okay, let me let me get the other uh, templates so you can see the difference. So go shifter, game template. So you can see here this is the game uh, by template. It's a Y up. Now all the templates have this clear differentiation if it's Y up or um, Z up. So in this case, um, I'm loading this one and you can see it's almost the same, but you have this deactivated and let me let me close this so we don't get confused. So now the naming rules here you can see are reset. So that's uh, one of the biggest difference, and you have some adjustments there and there. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. So you have this one that it probably will work if you using a non, I mean not the uh, metahuman uh, naming system, or if you're not using Unreal at all. Probably you want to use this uh, in, uh, like. In, template by pay template the other thing it's um there is um slightly difference in especially in the arms that's one thing i uh want to comment here if we put zero um division especially in the forearms this is uh sorry this is the arm this is the forearm i meant uh the arm this part here so the the way that the the, the first joint will uh, roll will change so if you have one or more divisions it will keep this rolling uh, like non-rolling and will distribute the rolling uh, on the length of the arm but if you have only one let's say you're doing like a, a game that it's uh, for a low power device like an old uh, phone or things like that so maybe you want to to have only one like one bone for the arm uh, and another bone for the or joint for the forearm so the when you twist you expect that this one is going to twist from here. It's visually, so you don't want that twist like this because it's the distributed twist. So when you put like zero divisions, the twist is going to change here slightly. So that's something that uh, probably you want to, to check and bear in mind when, when you're using this one. And the other thing, yeah, sorry, I'm just keep uh, going tangents here, but the, um, the meta component, uh, I think I'm gonna do another video for the meta component, but here on this um, game uh, template, the instead of having the separated uh, joints with control zero one, we have this uh, meta component for the well, for the meta carpal. So that's a slight difference between the uh, game biped and the uh, epic uh, mannequin or uh, metahuman biped. Okay, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.